Hello everyone. Let's have a look at these dynamic blocks. Let's say we have a stair and we extend it to infinity and steps are created automatically. We have some chairs and needs to be arranged at some area, we just drag and chairs appears automatically. Plus, we don't need to count. We can just type or EGEN for regenerate and enter. We get the total numbers. We can also design some beautiful patterns like this. Isn't it interesting? Let's jump to the tutorial and learn this amazing dynamic block. Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on how to make a dynamic block with Array. Since you are watching this video, I shall assume that you have good knowledge on AutoCAD's basic commands. If not, I recommend you to have a look on our basic AutoCAD tutorial video first. Okay, let's jump to subject. First of all, let's make a dynamic ladder block with its steps to be arrayed. For this, let's draw a rectangle for side rails of ladder. Let's say 0.3 meter by 0.03 meter. Copy it once. Now move it for the of ladder step length, say 0.6 meter. Now let's draw a step. Make a rectangle for step, click somewhere here. Let's say its size is 0.1 meter by 0.6 meter. Move it to the center. Let's assign some colors to them. Now let's make a block. Select all the elements and type B and press enter or spacebar. Let's give a name, say stairs. Click here for pick point. Track the line for center and alignment. Other everything looks fine. So just click OK. Now we have formed a block. Now double click this block. Select our block and click on OK. Now we are at block editor. Here at block authoring palettes, in parameters, select linear parameter. Let's click at the starting point of our ladder. And for second point, click at the end of ladder and click for placing the parameter. Now let's go to actions, click here. We can see stretch action here, click on it. We can also see instructions here on the command bar. Right now it says select parameter. So, let's click on our parameter. Now it tells to specify parameter point to associate with action, so let's click at the end of this ladder. Now click and drag for stretch frame from bottom right corner to upper left. Like this. Similarly select the parts of objects to be stretched and type enter. We have completed the stretching action setup of these two side rails. Now let's add the array action for this steps. Let's click to this actions and click on array. Select the parameter. We can again select the same parameter for array action. Now select the elements to be arrayed. That is we need to select step. Let's select the step elements like this and press enter. Now enter the distance between columns, means the center to center distance between our steps. So here let's say we have the center to center distance 0.2 meter. So let's type 0.2 and press enter. Now let's close the block editor. Click on save the changes. Now let's click on our block. We can see here two triangular grips. Click on this right end grip and drag it to right side. We can see the length of ladder increase along with the number of steps. Now let's make one more block. This time we will have array on both x and y direction and also have a number of counting. For that let's simply make a chair. Let's say it's a chair and we are going to arrange it at the distance of 0.8 meter towards horizontal and at 0.5 meter towards vertical. Let's draw a rectangle with 0.8 by 0.5 for temporary reference use. We will delete it later. Let's move this rectangle in this position so that we can locate grip location for our parameters. Now let's convert it to a block. Select the chair and type B and press enter. Let's give a name, chair. Let's click on pick point and click at this bottom left corner of this rectangle. Click OK. Now double click on the block we just created. Select our block name and click on OK. Now we are at block editor. Now let's delete this rectangle. At block authoring palettes, in parameters, 
Let's click on this XY parameter. Type 0, 0, for first point. And type 0 0.8, 0 0.5 for 0 0.8 X distance and for 0 0.5 Y distance. Now let's click on this Actions tab and click on this Array action. Select our parameter. Select the object, select all and press Enter. For distance between rows, as we have said, let's type 0.5 and for column distance type 0.8 and press enter. Now let's select this parameter and look at its properties. You can try changing the values here. For now let's click here and select the increment option for horizontal type. And type 0.8 here for horizontal increment. Again type 0.8 for horizontal minimum. Let's not type for maximum limit. And at vertical type, let's select increment. Similarly, let's type 0.5 and 0.5 for vertical increment and vertical minimum. Now close the block editor, click on save the changes to chair. Now let's click on our block. We can see here four square grips. Click on this upper right end grip and drag it to right side. We can see the number of chairs increases. Also drag the same square grip upward we can see the added row of chairs. So we have successfully made this dynamic block, now let's add a counting number in this block. For this let's double click on this block. Get inside our block. Let's add a tribute text. Type ATT and press enter. In this dialog box, at mode, select only lock position option. And at attribute, tag, let's type an O and leave prompt empty. At default, let's type zero. Justification, middle center. Text style standard. Text height let's make it 0.1. Click OK and click for placing the numbering text. For now let's click at the center of the chair. Now let's close the block editor. Click on save the changes. Now, not to forget, whenever we make changes to the block containing attribute text, we should always remember to sync the attribute block. So let's type ATTSYNC and enter for attribute syncing. Click on select and click on our block. And click on yes for sync. Now we can see our text here at the first unit of our chair block. But it's not showing the total number of chairs. So let's edit this text. Let's double click on this text. In this dialog box let's select this value. Right click on this highlighted text and click on insert field. From this field category list, click on the formula. Now we can see formula writing space, click here. Again right click at this space and click on insert field. This time select on the object from this list. Then click on this select object icon for object type. Then click on our block. Now we can see list of properties of our block. So, first of all let's select our x distance one. We can see the preview of our value here. Right now it's 2.40 because we have horizontal three chairs at the distance of 0.8. We can change its format and precisions from here. For now let's set 0.00. Click on OK. Now we can see the value here in shaded text. Shaded means field is included. So, for getting the number of chair from this distance we will have to divide this with the spacing. That is 0 0.8. Now let's click here and type divided by 0 0.8. We can click on evaluate here and see preview of its value. We don't need this value in decimals. So let's set this precision to 0. This value is for counting horizontal chairs. We have to multiply it with the vertical chair row numbers to get the total number of chairs. So, let's keep this formula inside the bracket. Let's click at the beginning and give small bracket open and click at the end and type close bracket. Type multiply and open small bracket. Again right click at this end of text and click on insert field. Select on the object from this list. Then click on this select object icon for object type. Then click on our block. Now, in this list of properties, let's select our y distance one. We can see the preview of our value here. Right now it's 2.00 because we have vertical 4 chairs at the distance of 0.5. We can change its format and precisions from here. 
For now let's set 0.00. .00. Click on OK. Now we can see the value here in shaded text. Again, for getting the number of chair from this distance we will have to divide this with the spacing. That is 0.5. Now let's click here and type divided by 0.5 and close the bracket. We can click on evaluate here and see preview of its value. Now, we have complete the formula setting for our block. So, click OK. Now we can see the value of our attribute text value shown here. Click OK. Now select the block and drag it from this grip right side and upside. And after changing, to get the number, let's type our E for regenerating. And the total number is shown at the first chair. We can increase or decrease both rows or column until we explode it. In this way we can make different types array parameter dynamic block for different types of works like this chairs, stair, or any patterns. I am going to upload more interesting videos in coming days. If you like what you have learned, don't forget to like and subscribe to get the new updates. Thanks for watching.